Welcome back. Well, today I am joined by Vaughn Doss, who heads up the Arizona RadNet. Well, I know that it's a big system, and that was the best way for me to introduce you. So welcome. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So I know you've only been with RadNet a short time, so give me just a brief background of what you did before. So I've been in radiology for about 15 years. Um, I've held almost every job that's non-clinical, and my main market that I've operated out of is Arizona. Okay. Now, um, so I understand, obviously, uh, RadNet has expanded to Arizona. And what, what are some of the things that, you know, what does that mean to Arizona now that RadNet's there? It means quite a bit. Uh, with having RadNet uh, take over these clinics, we can really establish some great programs. We can utilize their s services and their talent pool um, in this market to provide high quality care and do things that we've never done before. So like have a robust lung cancer screening program, have a robust prostate program. It's like every single department within radiology, they have a full team dedicated to make sure you're gonna be successful in the patients. Be good services. So tell me how that works. So Radnick comes to Arizona. Is there a partnership that it goes on or are there new facilities or how does that work? So when Radnet initially purchased, uh, there was an exploration of partnerships. Luckily, we, were allowed, uh, uh, we landed a partnership with Dignity Health, a local nonprofit hospital system, I think the second or third largest in the country. Um, and it's allowing us to uh, explore new locations uh, in the markets that we serve today and the markets we want to serve in the future. Um, it's also helped us bring a lot of new equipment out here, upgrade some of our equipment. It's been really, really beneficial uh, to the operations of the business as well as our ability to be successful as a company. Yeah, that's great. Um, you know, we've been interviewing Radnet for quite some time and they've got quite a great presence here locally. Uh, many of our, you know, many of our residents here in Laguna Woods, you know, some of them have homes in Arizona and, you know, they kind of go back and forth because that Arizona heat, nobody seems to like. So more power to you for being there year round. <laughs> but, you know, uh, when you do partner with someone as large as the healthcare system you're talking about, it, I, I'm sure it does help with expansion and management. And, and speaking of that, you know, we've gone through a really strange year, you know, 2020 has been just so, so odd. And, and many of our elderly people, you know, have been at the highest risk. So what would you say to them uh, about what, what is happening? So uh, what we're doing in this market to address, you know, the uh, issues that we faced in 2020 is we're making sure our staff is trained, or have enhanced cleaning uh, measures within our facilities. We have a virtual uh, check-in, so you can actually wait in your car or check in before and spend less time in the lobby. Um, a lot of things are being done, uh, but the most important is that the patients feel safe and comfortable and they get the care they need because delayed care is not good. And we wanna make sure that they know that we're doing everything we can to make a safe environment for them and our staff. Right, right, exactly. and. Uh... We did, we did interview uh, Karen Morad uh, some time ago, and she talked a lot about all of the things that Reddit has gone through. And so I think that's just awesome. And now, you know, different practices for going forward as well. I mean, I think this whole thing has really brought a lot of uh, light to sanitization and, and a lot of different things. Do you think you'll still use it going forward? I do. I do. I think that um, it, it, it didn't really negatively impact us, it, it positively impacted us because we were more conscious of what we were doing. We made sure that our cleaning habits were improved. We've added additional sanitation measures for the patients as well as our staff. I, I think it's gonna be a good thing going forward. Uh, we just have to make sure that we do a good job of managing it and communicating that to the patients so that way we stay vigilant um, until we do get back to that normal that we used to have um, and potentially a modified normal, but still good. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Whatever that normal might be, right? We're still we're still trying to navigate that. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the services. So I know you mentioned um, prostate cancer. Let's talk about some of the other services that you will provide. So we're a full service radiology provider, and what that means is that we offer a full range of services to our patients, such as MRI, PET CT, CT, ultrasound, X ray. 
uh, for uh, we also do a full range of women's services such as 3D MAMO, whole breast ultrasound screening, DEXA, and all breast biopsies that we can possibly perform in the outpatient sector. Um, so anything that can be done in the outpatient, more than likely we're able to do it. Now, you know, what do you think this means? I mean, obviously you're talking to us from Arizona. Uh, what does this mean for RadNet expanding into Arizona? I mean, there's a lot of other areas that I assume they could they could go to, but starting where they are in Arizona, what does that mean? I, I think it means a lot. Uh, Arizona is a is a is a new market for them, of course, but it's a market that they have some experience in. They've worked with other other groups within this market, so they have an understanding of the local geography. It also allows them to expand a partnership that they have with Dignity. They work with Dignity in California. They're gonna work much closer with Dignity here. So I think it's good because Arizona is a booming economy. Uh, it's a booming population. And you wanna get there before you know it's been well established. You wanna get there when the, when the iron's hot. And I would say the iron's hot here. We, we aren't seeing the unemployment rates other states are having. And we're continuing to see good economic trends. So getting here, right now is perfect because it allows us to establish a presence in Arizona and build while the state is doing very, very well in expanding its own geography of communities. What part of Arizona is it strictly in the Phoenix area? Uh, we actually operate out of two counties, Maricopa and Pinal. Um, so that would mean that we focus out of Phoenix. Uh, we also work out of Tempe, Mesa, Gilbert, Chandler. Uh, but we have two clinics in Pinal, or three clinics in Pinal County, which would be Apache Junction, Casa Grande, and Maricopa. That might be considered a little bit more rural to people who are from uh, out of state, uh, but still good markets, still growing markets. Um, and, it, and it's good. It gets us a little bit more geography and coverage so that we can take care of a greater population of patients. Oh, that's great. And, and you know, you are getting a lot of Californians these days. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are. A good portion of California people moving in. Oh, yeah, we're coming in droves. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was very nice to meet you, Vaughn. I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you so much. All right. And we'll be right back after this.